Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I am going to show another amazing game of Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen is a white and the black is Batsuren Dambasuren and here Magnus Carlsen is playing move Bishop F6. That's an amazing move and after this move black resign it. So maybe before I will show the game since beginning to end, uh, let's see this variation why black resign it because this is a nice nice uh, move and of course it's good to see everything so check on f6 and what black should play uh, maybe he will take this bishop by a g pawn do you think that black's king is okay no i don't believe it because black king will be checkmated now uh, white will take on f7 there's a check coming from this rook and of course because this rook is under attack black king has to take on f7 but then everything is a simple check on g6 and mate on g8 but uh, that was only one variation the second variation of course it's uh, what's happened if uh, black is taking on f6 by a king and still there is, uh, there is a winning variation for white check on g5 now check on f7 and we are not far from this variation because white is attacking a rook from both sides so black has to take on f7 check on g6 and the rest is a simple checkmate on e8 beautiful variation and all this game is beautiful so if you don't mind uh, let's welcome in this video and let's enjoy if i am right and you will see interesting chess game of one of the best chess player of all times feel free and press like or press follow and make me happy so thank you and let's come back magnus Carlsen is a white and batsuren dampasuren is a black this game was played in chennai 2022 so chess olympic games and magnus Carlsen is a white now of course we are in the opening stage where both players know what they are playing still white's got small advantage now black decided to go bishop d6 and give in to c2 uh, i think that uh, still everything is fine after rook e8 uh, maybe here i will show typical typical mistake or soon so bishop e7 and bishop g3 and now typical mistake is knight h5 this is a famous typical mistake where black could believe that he is going to change this important white dark squares bishop but maybe it's good to remember this mistake because uh, white will take on d5 yes of course to take uh, on d5 is a uh, nice move bishop c7 and if uh, of course black will take on g3 there is a check on e7 and white is pawned up and is nearly winning so one more time and be careful or maybe remember this typical mistake in knight h5 hopefully that's nice so i am happy to go on and uh, black played knight f8 h3 of course now maybe it was a threat to go knight h5 and now just took a g3 bishop so for this reason white played move h3 b6 and now e4 that's a very very strong move why because uh, if you have advantage if you have much more stronger pieces than your opponent it's important to open a center or it's important to open a game because in open position your pieces will be much more stronger than in closed position and that's a typical typical plan and it's uh, great if you will remember this position and this move because this move uh, should help you to be better chess player okay uh, now black to go on e4 and uh, maybe stronger as bishop e6 because you know if white is going to open black is not happy to open position till he will be ready to open position till he will be ready for fight so bishop e6 was a little bit better but uh, now uh, black took it on e4 
and now he played bishop b7 and now knight e5 and maybe looks like this is a not a huge advantage for white but that's nearly a winning advantage if white is Magnus Carlsen. That's a nice position and seems like from nothing, from opening, after two, three, four good moves, white's edge is amazing and black is fighting for his life. Okay, knight e6 happened, one exchange, and now bishop h7. It's a funny that if black is not careful and is going to h8, there is a funny checkmate. But of course, that's another story, because black uh, played to f8 and now rook d1. Watch white's pieces and uh, uh, it's a big difficulty to find bad white piece. You know, I don't know how it's possible, but Magnus Carlsen nearly every time has got super nice placed pieces and that's another example. So. <laughs> My, my, my recommendation is to follow Magnus Carlsen's games because um, that's a chess beauty. Okay, uh, for example now, maybe rook c8 uh, makes a sense, but uh, knight g4 is the strong answer and even it looks like uh, white is losing pawn. But be careful because here at the end of this variation white will be winning. Exchange, exchange, and uh, took on f6, and this endgame is absolutely lost for black. Of course, <laughs> one piece down, <laughs> that's the reason why I am right. Uh, so, that was only hidden variation. Uh, another variation, maybe here, to take on um, um, d4, this pawn. But still, this pawn is really expensive for black and it's not for free because white will go to uh, e4 and uh, this knight will fall down. Yes, uh, because a move c5 is not working, there is a bishop. So, <laughs> let's come back. Uh, black decided to take on e5, okay, that's his choice. And now he came queen e7 and f4. The plan, of course, is to go f5, f6, e6, and that's game over, that's it. And, uh, you know, just imagine that the black player is rated 2518, so strong chess player. He's not student, but he's falling down like, like children. Magnus Carlsen is great, and this is a nice attacking plan, f4. F5. And still it's nice to watch this bishop on h7 because <laughs> it's doing nice job. Okay, f4 happened and now c5, f5, knight d4, queen f2 and e6. Still white is following a simple plan. If white believed that he got a better pieces and he is attacking against black's king, it's important to open position as much as possible. And hopefully you remember move e4. Now e6 has the same plan, just to go and open position. This is the best plan. And uh, lots of amateur chess players are not following this plan. And that's a sad because this is a winning plan. In better position, let's go and let's open position. So yes, uh, that's a mistake, you know, that's a stupid mistake. So black played uh, queen c6, bishop e5, queen g3, huge threat against this pawn on g7, uh, check on e2, okay, one exchange, Magnus Karasen doesn't care about exchange and yes, we are in final position. So one more time and for the last time, let's uh, see this variation. Bishop f6 and black resign it. So why black resign it? Because if he is taking by a g pawn, there's a beautiful checkmate on g8, g6 and g8. Okay, and he is taking, uh, if he is taking um, uh, this piece by a 
there's a check on e5, f7, check on g6, check, check, checkmate, and that's it. And that was another nice game of Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen is still the greatest chess player, and I'm happy to watch his games and to make video about his games. So at the end of this video, thank you very much for your time, attention, likes and follows and I hope I will see you soon in our another YouTube chess video. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.